Hi there guys and welcome to my Nuzlocke challenge I'll be doing on Pokemon Platinum. Uh, this this video is just going to the first gym. Uh, I want to get a feel for how you guys like it. Um, see what I've done. Uh, as you can see I've already set up the uh, player uh, because the intro for this starts straight away and it's quite long and annoying and I just thought we'll skip that bit and we'll get straight into the actual play so I'm just currently walking around without Pokemon listening to boobs talk I decided to go with a couple of funny names yes my player is called Bows if you haven't heard those two phrases, uh, look up uh, Honest Trailers for movies and games and you will soon hear them a lot. Apparently I'm going to get fined if I don't hurry up, so I better hurry up. Okay. Let's see what his mum says. It's going to be out on 201. She's wondering who he takes after. Does she not know who his dad is? Anyway, let's go out to 201 and find Bubes. Yeah. I do like the Platinum games, they've got some good legendaries. I do apologise for the quality guys. Uh, I don't have a capture card as of yet, so I am using a digital camera recording off of my DS screen. Uh, it looks like he's going to try and run into the tall grass without a Pokemon. I say good luck to that. And here comes... Looks like a professor. It's probably going to be Rowan. Yeah, it's the professor. So in a minute we will be meeting our brand new Pokemon. Be interested if you've not played this game ever, which if you're watching this and you don't know about Pokemon, I'll be surprised. But you'll be I'll be introducing you to the new star the, the starting Pokemon for this one. This game is seven or so years old. But it's a good game I I like to think. Mm -hmm. And the way I've chosen to start it, I've chosen to do it a little challenging. Um, as I said at the start, this is a Nuzlocke challenge. I will leave a link in the description for where the rules, main rules are for a Nuzlocke challenge. Um, but the variations on mine are basically going to be... I can only go to the Pokemon Center so many times. So I'm limiting myself to two Pokemon Center visits. Um, her town. But if I've defeat, if I've defeated the gym in that town, I'm gonna let that town unlock, so I can have more Pokemon Center visits. But I'm not gonna be flying back to that town on a regular basis. So I'm gonna be relying on buying lots of potions, trying to keep them um, alive that way because I always hate relying on the Pokemon Centers. Another one of the rules for Nuzlocke is that when a Pokemon faints, it's considered dead. It must be released um, or put in the Pokemon storage system permanently. So I will be setting up a dead box in my PC. That will be where I'll be depositing any Pokemon that faint because I'm not a big fan of releasing Pokemon and once I've completed the Nuzlocke I may want to go out and just train up the rest of the Pokemon I might want to use the game for something else I may reset it and let do another Nuzlocke with another starter um, different restrictions in place, you never know um, another, another uh, main rule is that you can only catch the first Pokemon encountered in each area 
uh, which is basically every time you walk into a dark grass for the first time in the new rat in the new um, route. I am loading the option of including caves in this as well, so caves count as a new area. Um, because purely for the fact that they are you, you transition to them uh, ah, as we can see I've uh, been droning on and I have now picked my starter which is Chimcha uh, obviously my rival has picked the water type because he is a mean person has to pick the one that you're weak to and then you just show him how much of a boss you are So I'm I believe when I played it this battle was annoying because every time I'd use Leer he'd use Growl and yep yeah, there you go see I Leer he growls I'm lowering his defense he's lowering my attack my da my attack is going to do about the same as it did before so I got I got annoyed quite quickly it just started scratching scratching my way through him so advice if you go to play the game, just just go the first battle, just go straight out with a scratch or a tackle or whatever it's got. Because nine times out of ten, you are going to win this battle. I think in my history of playing Pokemon, I've only ever lost a starter battle once, and you don't white out from it that I'm aware of. It's been a long time since I've done that though. So yeah, and as you can see, I'm not doing much damage, so I've gone for a layer, but he's still going for a grab. So I am going to speed this up a minute, just so that we can get past it. Okay, so as you can see there, I won the match by sticking to my strategy of scratch. It's a great strategy when you start. Boobs was one. Bowls gets 500. Was that 500? I think it was 500, yeah. Annoying thing about this is it takes you back to your house. You've then got to listen to your mum. Fortunately, she gives you your running shoes. Which, for some reason, come with instructions, even though they never change in any Pokemon game. So, it's always the same button. Uh, I didn't write the game, though. Yes, I will be putting those on, because there is no opt-out button of running. I mean, you can walk without running. But, who wants to, really? Okay, I'm just going outside. Okay, so yes, there is a little jump here. Uh, that's because my camera stopped recording, unfortunately. Uh, nothing I can do about it. I completely forgot to turn it back on. I looked up at it and a few seconds later and I was like, oh. All I did was walk out the town, walk north. Um, got stopped by my rival, just as I did before. So you, you haven't missed that much. Uh, but now we're apparently on our way to the lake because we're going to go catch a legendary Pokemon. Uh, for those of you who don't play Pokemon games, a legendary Pokemon is Pokemon that, that there is only one of, or very, very, very few of. Um, and I don't mean very few as in there's only ten in existence, I mean very few as in there's like two in existence. Um, the only Pokemon I know that there are two of uh, in the anime are Lugia 
and new to a mew, I think. There may be a couple others. I'm pretty sure there's only one Celebi in the, in the anime. Um, but, yeah. If there are any others, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Um, oh, he seems to think that we can, we have our chance to catch the legendary Pokemon. Go for it. Have fun. Oh, that's right. You don't have any Pokemons, do you? What he's forgetting is that at the start of a Pokemon game, you don't get any Pokeballs until you've got your Pokedex. Because, what's the point of capturing Pokemon if you can't record them? You can't record their stats, their natures, their Pokedex data. Um, as you can see, I'm now free. I'm now running around the town. As per the rule, I've counted this Pokemon. However, <clears throat> because I haven't got my Pokedex, I haven't got my um, first set of Pokeballs, I'm excluding Pokemon that I encounter until I get the Pokedex from the rule where I have to catch the first Pokemon in that area. I will come back, do my first encounter again in this area, and catch that Pokemon. Um, I do believe this area has limited Pokemon to choose from. I think it's pretty much a Bidoof or a Starly. Um, if I am wrong and there is something else in this little patch of grass, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Um, but otherwise, I will be back for one of those two semi shortly. Once I've got my Pokedex and my Pokeballs. There we go. That was easily defeated. Nice level 2 beat off. 16 points. Or 16. 8 EXP. Yeah, uh, there's Dawn. Again, gonna go see the Professor. Because everybody loves to see the Professor. Uh, yes, I know that is the research lab. And that appears to be my rival. Yes, it's me. Sorry for that delay, I think I got distracted when that happened. This is the problem when you're playing next to people, playing next to people, playing other games. They tend to talk to you and try and distract you. They are quite impatient, you're right, Dawn. Thank you. So we're going to go in and get my Pokedex. I'll speed this bit up because this bit's just a lot of talking. See you in a minute, guys. While it has speeded up, I will just voice over this quick bit here. Um, I've just been asked to give my Chimchar a nickname. And very quickly I've given it a nickname. Some say the nickname this one for some reason doesn't. I can't remember why. So there you go, there's my Pokedex. This is just a lot, a lot of talking. But yeah, and apparently she's picked a Turtwig. Which I'm sure she has. Oh, and I've been given a TM. She's a Techno Machine. Up until Gen 5, they were single use. I think from Gen 5 they have been made um, multi-use, so you can use them multiple times. She's obviously showing me around town, so there's the Pokemon Center. Um, again, from Gen 5 they put the Pokemon Center and the Pokemon in the same building. Um, I'm not sure if I like that idea, but it gives them more space then to put, say, a house where the Pokemon Pokemon was. Means they can put an NPC in there, they can leave clues for something that might happen. Or allude to something in the real world, which is what they do a lot in Pokemon games. Yeah, she's telling me to go heal my Pokemon. She obviously doesn't own a Nuzlocke, so I won't be touching uh, 
healing for a while. But yeah. Uh, I'm going to go into the Pokemon Center. Uh, one good thing to do with, that I find with Pokemon games is always empty your cash. Because if you're not playing the Nuzlocke and you, you white out, you're going to be giving half of your cash away. So I don't want to be giving away 1750 when I white out. And I know I'm going to need Pokeballs. There we go. And I'm going to need potions. Yeah, I'm only going to want five. She's going to give me five in a minute. Um, but I'll take every potion I can fit in my bag. Yeah, there we go. Um, but yeah. I personally think it's better to spend all your money. Keep your potions full. Keep your pokeballs full. Um... Keep your revise full when you get there, because there's nothing worse than running out of a potion when you're so close to catching a Pokemon and you're on your last Pokemon. Let's begin. Oops, looking through my bag. This is the menu. There we go. I'm not sure what my character's doing at the moment. I think, yeah, I'm going back as I said I would. I'm now going to hunt whatever is to be caught in this route. So my official first is a Starling. Level 3 as well, which isn't bad. Better than the level 2 beat off for sure. And this can be my Pokemon that learns fly later on. Providing it doesn't faint, of course. And that was a beast of a beast of a scratch and I'm currently using the bottom screen whenever you see the little white bit go grey I'm using the bottom screen to select potions or pokeballs or switch pokemon um, yeah I think mean, even if I had a capture card I don't think you'd be able to see that so it's always good to know and the starly was easily caught, normal flying type. One foot tall, four and a half pounds. They call me the flying roots apparently. And that's what it registers when you catch it. And of course I've got to give it a nickname because that's one of the rules. And you can't see the nickname until I've input it. I'm just waiting. There we go. So I've caught that Pokemon. I'm just gonna And I'm now going to go back into town. I'm going to switch my Pokemon around first because I believe the Starly, which I've named Brave, in the second position, it won't gain any experience. So I have to send it out first. Ah, there's Dawn. Okay, apparently I've got to go see my mum, so I will be back once I see my mum. As you can see, my, I got my journal, which apparently I'm going to be writing in, and Bube's mum interrupted us and gave me a parcel to give to him. 
As you can see, I'm on my way back. Um, this is now my second encounter of a Pokemon in this area, so I can't catch this Starly, even though it's not nearly as great as my one. My one is actually a better Starly. Purely for the fact it's level 3. So, I am going to try and use this as a bit of free XP for my Starly. Anything lower than my Pokemon's level, I will always try and take it on. If it's higher, I will switch to my higher Pokemon and take it out with that. But as you can see, my Starly's having a good time tackling away. Taking a couple tackles, but everything's looking good. I'm going to knock this one out, get a little bit of XP, probably just the 16 that I would have got from v Duke as well. Yep, 16 XP. Fills up quite a chunk of the bar though, once it's uh, that, this low level. Okay. And we're back into the town. And now let's go see Dawn. She's going to show us how to catch a Pokemon. I will again speed this bit up because I've already caught one. So as you can see that's how you catch a Pokemon and now I have an extra five Pokeballs which is always awesome. So I now have a total of nine, ten minus the one that I used to catch my Starling. Now whenever you walk past some of the, some of the NPCs some of them will challenge you. Oops, sorry I knocked, I knocked my DS there a little bit. Um, so this guy's got a Starly but it's level 5 so I'm obviously going to switch my Brave out because there's no way my he can take a level 5 Starly not with 9 health left so we're going to send out Blaze my little Chimchar not even quite sure Blaze can take this thing out with just normal attacks but we will certainly see what we can do about it. Okay. So, I'm going to use a potion here because Obviously I've taken a lot of damage from Quick Attack, that is a semi-powerful Starly. Trained Starlies are always more powerful than Wild Ones, uh, because they receive training from the trainer. Wild Ones just level up, just kicking each other's rears. Uh, but, the great thing is, you get more XP from a trained Pokemon than you do from Wild. So it is better to battle trainers rather than just grind in the wild areas but once you battle battled trainers in a certain area you can only rebattle some of them after a certain amount of time so then you have to grind in the wild areas but there we go it looks like my Starly's gained to level 4 and my Blaze has gained to level 7 always a good thing and he's learning Ember. Excellent. As if you don't already know, as some Pokemon grow, they learn new moves. Ember is a fire type move, it's one of the weaker ones, but at this level, it's great. So I'm just going to keep on heading around to the next town. Gonna check on my potions, make sure I've got enough in there. That my Pokemon are potioned up. Yeah, because it looks like Blaze could do with one. Because if I was to send him out, he won't 
it, it won't take much. Okay. He's got 16 health back. Okay. Always got to be careful because any trainer can challenge you if they have Pokemon. And you can usually tell which ones they are because they're the ones that usually block you from going anywhere. So you have to challenge them to move past them. That's a lovely level 5 feed off. Am I going to switch? I'm thinking I should switch. Yep, yeah, there we go. I'm going to switch, get Blaze out, because Brave won't be able to take out that beat off, or it'll be close. But I'd much rather it be safe. Get a better chunk of uh, XP from a trained Pokemon, as I said earlier. He's going to use Growl, try and reduce my attack. The great thing is I have Ember, which is a more powerful attack than my Scratch. So I'm not so worried about it now. I was more worried about it earlier when it can make the battle last 5 minutes instead of 1 minute. There we go, nice chunk of uh, EXP for both Pokemon. Now this this is a new route as well, so I haven't I haven't encountered my first Pokemon in this area. But this is a large patch of grass, so I am going to encounter it here. There we go, and it's a beetle, level three, better than level two when I first encountered, which is always good. And I'm I'm thinking that Brave could do some damage here. I can only catch this bead off and then this area I can't catch anything until I've completed the game. And by completed the game I mean beat the Elite Four. Yeah, that does bring me down quite low. But I am now going to throw a Pokeball. Go. Access in the menu. Okay, go throw in the Pokeball. And that is a Court B Dot. Okay, so that will be another Pokemon to add to the Pokedex. Um, again, I'll be referencing this quite a lot. Up to Generation 5, when you caught a Pokemon you lost out on the XP that that Pokemon could potentially give you as far as leveling up from generation 5 onwards they actually fixed it the Pokemon you catch now gives you AXP anyway um, so they made it slightly easier to level Pokemon up but it's understandable because you put in as you saw with me I put in 95% damage on it so I take a fair bit of damage, so I need to get something in return. Yes, I get a Pokemon, but I've got to heal that Pokemon up. And if I'm doing, say, a Nuzlocke challenge, I've then got to use a potion to heal it, as opposed to a Pokemon Center. So I am actually glad that they put in, that you get the XP from Generation 5 onwards. Um, There we go, we've got another trainer battle. And he thinks he's going to win. I say good luck. I keep knocking my DS for some reason. Not sure why. Um, there we go, I'm going to send out my 
but my thing, obviously I haven't used a potion on him yet so I'm not quite sure that I want to keep him out so I'm going to switch him out there we go now Burmy is a bug type bug types are weak to fire type attacks so Ember should do quite a bit uh, that's not me pointing at the screen to point something out, that's just my stylus getting in the way. Yeah, and as you can see, two super effective moves, and Burnley is down. Brave is now level 5. I now get access to quick attack as well. And as you can see, my as you can see by those stats, my Brave is going to be a uh, a big speedy attacker because he's got because he's got good stats in his attack and his speed, and not bad health stats either. Okay, he's running a little bit. Okay, make Pokeballs lying around. Make sure you try and pick them up when you're going around because they always have useful things. As you saw, that one had a potion inside it, which is great they're useful, sometimes you can have TMs inside it, other useful items, the less useful ones you can sell them for money to buy more potions. Um, as you can now see I've made it to the next town uh, and so I can now use the Pokemon Center if I choose to and I've also found Dawn so she's obviously going to be taking me somewhere but we're now going to be running into a peculiar man Okay, I sped that up because it, there's a lot of useless talking in this game. Uh, the important stuff I'll obviously point out. That was Looker, he's International Police, and he gave me the Versus Recorder. Yeah, the Versus Recorder now tells me who I've battled, and I think, I haven't used it yet, but I think I can go back and battle people. That I've already battled, which is good. So she's obviously pointed out that the trainer school's there and that my rival must be in there. So I am now going to go inside the trainer school. Yeah, there we go. Plenty of people. There's my rival, Bubes. Now, if you haven't played a Pokemon game before, it's always advisable to talk to everyone in the room because you never know who's going to give you what, um, who might want to battle you, all that sort of thing. He's telling me that there's useful stuff on the board. I'm pretty sure the useful stuff on the board relates to the status moves. Uh, that's your poisons, your paralyzed, your sleeps, um, your confusions, they all have negative effects. There we go. And he's just given me one of his town maps that was in his parcel. So I now have a town map that will tell me where I've been, where I'm going. Very useful uh, piece of hardware. Software. Borgberg, Borgberg City it looks like the uh, best place to go next and he's shot off already so I'm going to shoot off in a minute but first I'm going to go over to that corner and get that pokeball there we 
get. Now that's an X attack. X attacks are items that you can use during battle. You can't use them outside of battle. Uh, but you use them during battle to temporarily increase your attack power. Um, you get stuff like X defend, increase your defense. Um, yeah. Now, I've already played this, so I know that these two that I've just walked between, they will battle me, and they will give me something for it. Not to mention the EXD old game. So, I've just got to sort out my Pokemon. And by sort out, I mean top them up with health, so that they are ready to go. I'll do just two of them now. I'm not going to do Belle because Belle is only level 3. She ain't going to be taking much. I'm not going to be worrying about training her too much just yet. I'm going to be focusing on uh, both Brave and Blaze. Okay, I'm pretty sure they've both got one Pokemon each. So we'll speed this up and get back to you in a minute. So guys, as you can see, I've they they went down quite easily. They were pretty confident. I was pretty confident too. So I'm gonna finish talking to this girl. Just then I'll be talking to the guy, getting my potion. Yes, all that for a potion. Well, not just for the potion. I did it for the um, for the XP as well. The potion is sort of like the icing on the cake. There we go. Okay. There we go. And now I'm going to go out. Yeah. Going to use the Pokemon Center because I haven't actually. I will actually use it here and it's about time I used it. I'm surely going to be starting to run out of some PP soon. Okay, so Pokemon are healed up. Let's continue on with our journey. Hmm. It's not I stop people in the middle of the road. And you're telling me I have no Poke Edge. What is a Poke Edge? Okay, so I've got to go see three clowns. This sounds like it could be semi fun. Let's go find three clowns. Sir. Okay, so it's time to go find those clowns. Oh, I think I just walked past one. There he is. My god, am I drunk walking today? Does the Pokemon go to speeding? Yeah, it does. There we go. Absolutely correct. Thank you. So, are you going to give me something? I'm well aware of Pokemon Evolution. I'm also aware of Person Evolution as well. Okay, let's go hunt the other two clowns. 
Oh, it's another clown. Yeah, Pokemon can hold an item. Oh, thank you. Yeah, but did you know that a Pokemon can't use a man-made item like a potion? I think he's thinking. So that's coupon three. So we've got to go hunt coupon two. So where is another clown? There he is. Does he look clowny to you guys? He looks clowny to me. Let's go talk to the clown. Okay, so another coupon, excellent. I'm very happy to have coupons, I love coupons. Let's go take the coupons back and see if I can get my free poker edge. My god, you can count, it's amazing. So I now have my Poke Etch. And I now get to play with that. Alright, where's that town he mentioned earlier? My rival. Hawkburg City. Sounds like I need to go there. Some lovely, lovely full health Pokemon. Let's go. Okay, so Boobs has stopped me. Hey, yes, Boobs, I did get tougher. Why? Do you want to battle? Oh, you're going to demonstrate for me. I do need to be demonstrated how failing looks like. So this is Starly versus Starly, both level 7, probably the exact same health as well. I'm going to go for the quick attack, he's going to go for the growl. And it'll be over soon. Okay, he hasn't actually attacked me yet. Oh, here we go. Quick attack. And that's a nice level 8. Good bit of uh, EXP from that train styling. I'm just going to send out Pipla. So I've decided to keep Brave in. I'm going to go for Quick Attack again. Oh wow. And with a Growl, I don't... I, I don't think that's going to do much more. So 
So I'm going to switch out the blaze because blaze is just going to hit harder. Well, I was hoping. Let's see if we can stack another layer up. Goes the fence down that a little bit more. Do you see what I was talking about earlier, guys? Oh, he's there. He is ground. This is going to be a tough, tough fight. Because when you've got low attack, like that low, all you can do is. Oh, holy hell, that was a critical hit. I think I got lucky there. Because that could have gone the wrong way. Oh, there we go, Brave Grid level 9. Ah, wing attack. I do love a wing attack. There we go, defeated the uh, boobs. Got 900, he's not terribly rich, but he's probably battling about the same people I am. And he's running off to the gym like a loony person. Okay. That's fine, let's go. I'm going to switch Brave and Blaze round because Blaze is now behind. Indeed, I am well aware of that. There we go. Mm, I'm going to assume this guy has Krikatot and Zubat. I'm not quite sure on that one though. Okay, we definitely have the cricket ox, which is good because I'm starting with fire type. And obviously bug types are weakened by fire types, so this should be a nice easy bit. Oh, not quite one shot. Oh no, he growled at me. It's okay because Ember, I believe, is special, so not not too worried because he's not lowering my special attack, just my attack. You know, I'm thinking of just going special completely on Blaze, so all the special moves, so flamethrower, um, fire blast, that sort of thing. I'll check his stats later and see what he's good in. I'm going to assume it's special attack. Doesn't have his attack doesn't seem too high. Yeah, Zubat's taking a pounding already. Oh no, he leech slide me because leech slide does a lot of damage. And I will end with that. Oh man. See, if it wasn't for that leech life, he would have died. And there goes him. And enough XP to get me to level 10, so I'm going to have to switch Darley back into the first position. In the meantime, I'm going to go grab that Pokeball. As I said, picking up Pokeballs, good idea. Okay. Let's put Bray back in the first position. He's got more health than Blaze has. Ok, 
Yeah, youngster Dallas. Youngster Dallas has a Shinx. Pretty high level Shinx. Well, for this level, for this area anyway. Of late. This should be the only time you're ever going to see flying type take out an electric type. Doesn't happen often. I'm sure there are many YouTube videos that show that flying types can take out electric types. And this one will just be another one inside of the mall. Okay, you promise you get tougher. Sammy tells me I can come back and battle you later. I'll have to check that out. Check out that versus recorder, see if I can come battle again. Ooh, hello. You're gonna test your strength on me? Well, I am pretty strong. Youngster Sebastian. Oh, it's a match up. Oh, it's a Machop's weakness. That's one. I think I'm going to call my next uh, flying type a Machop's weakness. What do you guys think? Comment below if you want me to call my next flying type a Machop's weakness. Of course, it won't be during this video, so if I get a flying type in this video, it won't be that one. But comment below. Next one I get after I've read the comments, I'll name it. Why not? What would be really funny is if I got caught a Pokemon and named it a Marchart's weakness and then placed a Marchart with it. No, you're not quite ready for the gym, but you're close. You just need a low kick. Give you a hint there. Okay, so I'm gonna zip past this guy. Do I need to change anything? Yeah. Bring Bell forward because these two are now at level 10, so it'd be good for Bell to get some exposure. Put a potion on someone. Okay, it looks like I'm not going to put it on. There we go, we've got Starly in front of us. I'm doubtful I can take it out with this beater. Oh, I'm trying though. They'll use tackle. That's not a terrible attack. We may be able to do this. It's probable that this can happen. Okay, I'm less I'm I'm less that I'm less sure now. Let's bring out someone who can take that out. Okay, I said someone who can sure take that out, not someone who will one shot it. Okay, we're going for the one shot. And it's good.
Right guys, so I'm going to let you in on my secret for this part that I'm going for, after this battle of course. After this battle, I'm going to try and get through this cave as quickly as possible without battling any wild Pokemon. Because I want a Geodude from the area mm -hmm. after. Because my theory is if I can get a Geodude, teach it Rock Smash, it will decimate the first gym. Absolutely decimate. Decimate, decimate, decimate. And that, that, that's my entire plan. Because I've actually tried this playthrough once before. And without a Geodude without Rock Smash. It, this gym is impossible with a fire type starter. Simply as. Yeah. Even with teaching the fire type starter Rock Smash. Which I've done. I'm going to happily let watch Blaze just solo all these Pokemon so that Bell can get a bit of experience. Bell gets a little bit of experience. I have to grow a level there, that's good. Phase gets a little bit, not enough, but we can live with a little bit. We are level 10 after all. Okay, so they're sending out Starly. I'm just going to speed this bit up guys because this is effectively going to be a lot of rinse and repeat. just thought I'd put something in here because this is about the only Pokemon I will let a low level stay in on because as you can see she was able to take it on solo okay so that battle's over with okay, gonna help up a couple of these I think Probably want to go to put some health on Bell. Definitely Blaze. Okay, so let's put some health. I don't know if I will put some on uh, Bell actually. I'm thinking of just putting on Blaze. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, he's going to be the one doing most of the damage for a bit. Bell's certainly not going to be taking anything out because. She's just not. She's a little too level, lo low level still. I'd be much happier with her taking a little bit of a backseat for now. I'll bring her out when I need to. Okay, we've got a side arc, so I'm gonna, definitely going to switch her out. Bring out my blaze. If you'll notice, this is a fire type, this is a water type. Um, and we, it looks like we're going to have a scratching war. Oh no, a water sport. It's got to be the first time I've had water sport used against me by a water type when I'm using a fire type. Because usually I'm not crazy. But I do know that Psyduck doesn't learn a water move 
I fuck off water to move anyway, other than water sport. Until level 9. Go, that's side up down, a couple of scratches later. Okay, so it's time to head through the cave of not much doom. And he's giving me the HM for Smash, which hit Rock Smash, sorry, which is a nice one. It'll definitely help me with the uh, gym because it's a fighting type move. And the first gym leader for you, those of you who don't know, is a rock type leader. So, rock types, fighting types, fighting types have the advantage. I wish I could find a fighting type, but I don't actually think there are any fighting types to sell in the game. There's some rock types in the next town ahead, or in one of the routes off the next town, so try and get one of those, hope I do. I know there's also some zoo back there as well. So we'll just see what I can get. If I can't get it, I'll have to go to plan B. Okay, so I'm gonna try and take this Shinx out with my bell. Because you never know. It'd be good for us to get a load of XP as well. It's good to see that was a critical hit because I'd hate to think that's how much damage it does each turn. And there she has it. Bell's taken out Shinx and a big chunk of the XP for her. Ah, well done Bell. Now, second trainer on the way. So far so good, no wild Pokemon spotted yet. Definitely going to switch her out though, bring Blaze out, all brave. I'm definitely going to want to use a potion, sorry about my stars getting in the way again. There we go. Wing attack did a lot there. Which is always good to see. Okay. And this guy's going to take me to the gym, even though I need to get to the Pokemon Center first. Okay, there's a weird guy standing outside the Pokemon Center. That is weird. Heal up my Pokemon. Because if I'm going hunting for the gym leader, I'm gonna need some rested PP'd Pokemon. If you don't know what the term PP is for, it's power points. It's what moves cost to use. Uh, some moves start with like 20 or so power points, other ones start with less. Okay, so, I'm going to the mine, I'm just going to talk to everyone here because I am sort of curious 
I can't remember which people I battle. I think they're the ones further on. But there are some lovely items around here, so... There we go, found the yellow shard. Okay, but on Gugaba, mine. Okay, first Pokemon, Jiru, Jiru, Jiru. Dang it, Zubat. God, I hate Zubat. Oh well, let's try and catch it, because it's the first Pokemon in this area, I can't catch anything else. So let's just try and catch this one. Can I use leech line? Oh. Interesting, he's going to confuse me. But my... Okay, I was going to say my belt can fight through that, but apparently she can't. Yeah, I'm already confused. And I'm nuts. Caught it. I can't remember what I was going to name this. I'll check in a minute though. Okay, I found a Pokeball, which is good, because I just used one, so it's always good to have a, a new one handy. Oh, come on. Why couldn't... See, it's even level 7. I would have much rather had that. Right, what can I teach Rock Smash to, I wonder? Oh, I can teach it to Bell and Blaze. So yeah, let's definitely teach it to Bell. She's going to need it at some point, probably. Should we teach it to Blaze as well? Yeah, why not? You can never hurt to have too many Pokemon with Rock Smash. Especially when they're not fighting types and they're not rock types. I'm going to get rid of Taunt. Even though Taunt can be bleeding useful. Because it stops people from growling at you. Okay, so everyone who works in the coal mine has their own Pokemon, so they can battle. Excellent. And it's another bleeding Geodude. Come on, man. Yeah, there's something wrong here.
Yeah, I've always wondered why Geodude has Mudsport, because electricity does not do a lot to him. It does seem pretty pointless. But you get further trying to use it again. There we go, that is a damn cheer dude. Done by Bell. All the XP is hers. And it's not enough to get a little leg, dang it. So, are we going to go down further? We are. Okay, I'd also would have really liked a lovely little Onyx, because guess what? Onyx is beat. Especially since they gave it an evolution. But hey ho, let's take it out. My bell's getting a little more powerful now. Okay, let's go down. Another Geo dude. You see, with all these rock types, you could have caught one of them, and it would have been really nice. caught any one of these rock types and that would have been my trip to the gym done. It looks like I'm gonna have to go with Plant B, but while I'm here, I'll go return the gym leader to his gym. Oh come on, level 9 Onyx, really? Okay, so he's going to use Bind against me. And he's Rock Smash. Okay, I'm definitely going to want to use a Potion or Switch out. Yeah, there we go, the Potion. That was a fair bit of damage. I'm not worried though. Bell can take out this Onyx. 
Uh, what? What? The damn onyx! Come on, bell. Come on, please. Screw this thing up. Just take it out. Don't care about it anymore. Oh, rock throw. Ah, survived that. My god, that onyx was annoying. And he killed my bell. Now I don't have a beat off. I'm so upset now. That did quite a bit of damage to that Geodude. Although it won't do soon with the fence curl. Got to take this thing out pretty quickly. Fortunately I'm four levels above it so it shouldn't do too much damage to me. Another mud sport because I've, I've, obvious, I've obviously got an electric bird here. Okay, while well, I mourn the death of my uh, okay, we've got my chop which I can leave breathing for. And that was a nice one shot. There you go, Worker Colin. That's right, you can cry mercy. Ooh, who's that between, between those two boulders? Hmm, it's almost acting like a gym leader. Okay, he is the gym leader. So, gym leader's now been returned, so that's good. Let's go battle a couple more people, and then we'll leave. For these final battles, I'm just going to speed it up a bit. Be back in a minute, guys.
Okay then guys, so I'm now out of that cave, and as you can see, as I said earlier, I'm now putting Bidu into that death box, which is currently box 18. I'm just talking to these people, seeing if they know anything. Okay. Right. So it would appear I need to go and get my backup. Don't worry, my backup's not in here. This is just merely a Pokemon Center where I need more potions. But I am going to go get my backup plan. I'll be back in a minute, guys. Okay, I'm not sure what's happened here. I don't know why it's gone black and white. Something must have happened with my. Something must have happened with my camera. I'm trying to find a rock type in here because this is a cave. Rock types love caves. So. Ah, I've, I've already caught a Subat. So, thank God. I don't need to worry about this one. This does not count towards my first encounter in this area. So I'm so lucky. Because if it had been anything else other than a rock type or a zoo bat, I would have been very upset. Unless it was a water type. But I very much doubt there's a water type in this cave. I mean, what are the odds that there is a water type that would be perfect? for the gym in this cave. I'll never see that. Still doesn't count to my first encounter by the way. And I'm not sure why it's black and white. Hmm. I'll have to investigate why that happened. Okay, so let's keep looking. There's got to be a rock type here somewhere. And if there's any Zubats and rock types in this cave, then I've got a good chance. Because I don't, I don't have to worry about Zubats. Okay, come on. Rock type. Rock type. Oh, holy hell. Oh, holy Psyduck, Batman. That's Psyduck. It's level 5. I've got to go for it. So if I don't kill it, thank God. Okay, so I don't get in the Pokeball. You will be fed, I promise. Yes, Sadat was caught. Okay, gotta give this thing a good nickname. I believe it was Penal again. Just out of curiosity, guys, what would you call a female Sadat? Feel free to put it in the comments below. Okay. So I'm very happy to have my Psyduck on board. This is going to allow me to, well, own that gym. Because I know, already know that a Psyduck learns Water Gun at 9, at level 9. So following that logic, I've only got to train it up to level 9. 
I might get a level 10 though. Okay guys, I'm going to speed up this bit for a training montage. I'll be back with you in a little bit. Okay, so as you can see, my lovely, lovely side arc is now fully trained up. He's nicely level 10. He's got his water gun, and as you see, it was destroying a Geodude. Right now, I'm very, very happy. I just hope we can take out the... Uh, Jim, let's get it to level 11 just to be safe. So we know the gym starts at 11, and the highest Pokemon I believe is 14. Yeah, I think he's got a great a cranial dose of 14. So we'll just demolish things here for level. Couldn't take long. There we go. That's the zoo back down. Yeah, good chunk of XP as well. Right, 
Cheer dude. Was a big good test of his water gun. And that was the molly. Never bet against the Geodude. No, sorry, never get bet against a Cider. Especially one with Water Gun, and it's going against the Geodude. Oh, and another Geodude. There we go, he's at level 10 now. Okay, I think it's time to go to the gym. Judy trying to stop me. Judy went down. Looks like I'm going to try and go for level 11 before I leave. <gasps> An Onyx. That should certainly give a fair bit of EXP. And it was a one shot. Walking this thing into the gym could be very interesting. I'm just going to say that now. It could be very interesting. I was half expected to just give me the win automatically. But the gym and Pokemon are tough, so I'm not going to say it's a foregone conclusion. There's another one down. And there's an eye. Sorry about the focus, guys.
attack. So now we're at the, now we've got fully healed. Let's go to this gym and take him on. Okay. How many patients have I got spare? Two. I may need to go get a couple. I'm not going to go get a couple. Okay, so that same level Geo dude, let's see what this does. Oh, and it demolished. Okay, so we've got a Geodude, and get you back out, this is level 9. So I, I crapped all over a level 11, so I'm going to do pretty much the same to a level 9, I think. Yeah. Okay, so it's happily to level 12. There's another train of bites of dust. That looks like a gym leader to me. Yeah, Rock, gym leader. Alright, Rock, I'll see your, your rock types and raise you one awesome water type. I've got to be quick here because my camera is actually flashing at me saying it's going to die soon. That would be abysmal, that would. Okay, so that's the Geodude down. Next we've got the Onyx. Onyx is down already. Wow, that's quick. Okay, I wonder if we can take down Craniodos as well. What against Craniodos? Oh, does not one shot it. No way you're giving up yet. Nah, using a potion. You have to because I'm going to take you out. Oh, that was close. See, this is why gym leaders are gym leaders. Even when you bring a Pokemon that's OP for them, they bring potions. There we go, and that is the gym leader done.
Okay guys, well, I'm going to call this episode here. Um, sorry it's gone on a little long. Uh, but, my camera's flashing at me so I've got to turn this off soon. So, make sure you like and subscribe underneath. Um, if you thought this was too long and you think I should break it up more, comment down below and I'll do that for the next one. Um, if you thought this was a right lane, comment down below let me know so I know to keep it the same that, that as well. I'll try not to keep the next one the same length. Um, and make sure you give it a like, share it, and have a nice day guys. Bye.